name is Ainu Naim. I'm a music composer and song designer. I study bachelor degree in piano performance and pedagogy. After that, I continue my master degree in composition, uh, majoring music technology. Now I'm here working as a full-time lecturer in music composition department. My expertise, my interest area would be electronic music, uh, more on contemporary experimental sound art. When the director described about the animation, the first thing that pop up in my mind is uh, traditional elements because the scene of the animation uh, focus more on culture background. I gather four best composers in my department. The lead for the music composition is Alwani. Second one is Encik Adam, and Raja and Reina. In the animation, there are two parts where the reality, the, the real world and the magical world. Both of them work differently. So some of them focus on the real world and some of them focus on the magical world. To combine those musical and sound elements from other composers, they have different idea and different concepts. To merge that together is the most challenging part. My favorite folly would be the sound of the sea, yeah, the wave. I hope that the sound can stress out the message that the animation want to send out. Nama saya Amalina Alwani binti Balarudin. Musical background saya sebenarnya datang daripada family saya sendiri. Saya dilahirkan dalam keluarga yang agak musical saya boleh cakap. Ayah saya seorang pemain violin and mak saya adalah seorang pemain organ. Jadi membesar dalam keadaan setiap hari dengan muzik dari kecil menyebabkan saya pun uh, teruk minat lah untuk main muzik sekali lah dari kecil. So I started my piano lesson since I was four years old. I am a graduate of UITM from my diploma and degree. Uh, tapi waktu master, I did my master in uh, University of Edinburgh in Scotland. And uh, kat situ saya ambil music for film lah. In general, uh, I would say I like stuff that gabungkan classical and pop music. But my interest is more on jazz and ballad music. But I actually listen to everything to get more styles and vocabularies in music lah. Tugas saya uh, sebagai komposer untuk menyediakan tim dan juga uh, musical character lah kepada animation ni. Kita buat mas punya tim dengan batik girl lah. Kita juga membincang bersama dengan rakan-rakan buat kind of instrument yang kita patut masukkan untuk melambangkan colors ataupun uh, melambangkan character. Mas dengan batik girl is actually the same character lah. Lebih kurang cuma is in the magical world and then yang satu ni dalam uh, reality lah. Saya membayangkan dia seorang yang fun actually sebab dia budak-budak kan. Jadi mula-mula sebenarnya team yang untuk batik girl tu sebenarnya adalah untuk Mas. Tapi after berbincang dan kita nampak sebenarnya Mas ni portray dia lebih kepada anak yang kesunyian lepas meninggal ibu ayah kan. Kita decide untuk buat something yang more subtle, more calmer. That is where saya gunakan scale C major skill yang paling mudah untuk orang ikut dan rhythm yang sangat sedikit lah so that kita dapat nampak flow dia nak mencari ketenangan so itu datang inspirasi saya lah untuk mas punya team untuk batik girl kita nampak yang dia sebenarnya start to explore things lebih ceria and it's very interesting untuk tengok dia punya konsep macam mana rambut dia boleh colorkan batik I find it very magical saya decide untuk menggunakan harmony yang berbeza daripada team mas tu saya ada masukkan unsur jazz sikit with some seven chords saya pun ada berinspirasikan daripada studio Ghibli Ya, saya tengok macam Joe Hisaishi dia punya composition and the harmony progression dia pergi bila saya tengok animation batik girl at the first time so, apa yang saya nampak ialah ada vibe-vibe ponyo sikit ha, macam ponyo ponyo na, 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 di, di, da, da. so it's very fun oh, waktu yang time yang magical tu so I wanted to create something that is uh, very progressive but at the same time fun and still mengekalkan some macam pentatonic light and Asian punya feel lah I'm uh, Adam Masumi, one of the composers for Batik Girl Project. I received my Bachelor of Music in Composition from UITN and went on to complete my Master of Music in Composition at the Queensland Conservatory of Griffith University of Australia where I studied my composition under Gerard Brophy and Dr. Stephen Cronin. There are few music composers that uh, inspire my music. Um, including uh, Bartok, uh, Debussy, Mahler and also a few modern film composers like John Powell and uh, Indonesian producer Erwin Gutawa. I've written a few compositions which uh, span multiple genres, multiple uh, instrumentations, orchestra, chamber ensemble, voice, choir, quartet, electronic music and many more.
One of my parts is uh, when my walks from the beach to the batik bookshop and uh, she fall asleep there. Basically, I use the same motif for mask in the introduction part. I develop the music to be happier, to be energetic, to get that amazed feeling and also wonderful feeling when she saw the tools, the batik drawing, and also when she trying out how to draw the batik. The original character of the melody is retained, but I modify the chord colors, the arrangement, and also the instruments. Also add up a little bit Malay motif. I divide my scene into several parts. So I think of something like uh, we call as texture instrumentation. So it will be different in each of the part in the movie. So for example, the first part, I only use like piano and also string, a very soft string to support the visual and to motion images. And second part is like a little bit busier, the texture getting thicker, getting richer with uh, many instruments and also the rhythmic structure getting busier with a little bit complex structure. My name is Raja Mama Alif bin Raja Mama Adnan. I'm currently a composition lecturer here in UITM Faculty of Music. So I started my journey into music when I was around 14 years old. I started playing the classical guitar at Yamaha Music. And then I did my study here in UITM. I did my diploma in music. Also, after that, I did my degree in music composition here in UITM Faculty of Music. Around that time, I thought I wanted to just end there, but then I continued to do my master's in advanced musical studies in UK at Royal Holloway University of London. I was given the task of creating the theme for Toma. I was also given the task of doing the part right after uh, Toma and Mas were at the graveyard. From there up until Mas was sitting at the beach on the swing with red handkerchief flew and got stuck on the swing. The main mood that I wanted to capture was something that is very calm, a bit melancholic, not too sad for Tokma. I didn't want to create something that is too active, so I wanted something that is very laid back. The first thing I did was I looked at the video over again and again, again and again. I kind of like wanted to just make it fully in my head first before I create any music. So the videos that I watch with without the music, I know you guys did give some music that for guidelines, right? But I completely made it silent and just kind of let Tokma be in me himself first and then I tried to find the motif.